Hey everybody, 2015 is winding down, so it's time to take a look back at some of our picks as the best and worst movies of 2015. I should say before we get going on our best picks of 2015, uh, let's just throw Star Wars up and out there, and let's consider Star Wars, so we don't have to just continue to say Star Wars over and over and over again. So we're taking Star Wars out of the running. Everybody loves Star Wars, we get it, it's awesome, we'll talk more and more about it as the year goes on, but for right now, let's talk about other movies. We're starting with the best movies right now. Uh, so my favorite movie of 2015, that's really, really hard. Uh, there's a lot of good movies. There's a lot of big action movies. There's a lot of really, really big movies I, that I loved. I, I'm gonna go with a tie between Room and Creed. Partially because these two movies, for me, do everything that I really love about movies. They're shot beautifully, the performances are really strong, the writing is really strong. It brings together sort of like all of the uh, visual and audio and effect, like things about movies into this, these like beautiful packages that tell really, really strong, human, relatable stories. And at the end of the day, that's why I love movies. I'm also on this weird Brie Larson kick. One of my favorite indie movies of last year was Short Term 12, so the fact that Room made the cut this year is not a huge surprise. But yeah, Room and Creed to me are sort of everything I love about movies. One being the big blockbuster sort of Oscar bid movie high budget version and Room being the low budget indie version of those things. But if you haven't seen those movies, you really, really, really should. But I, there's still lots of big superhero things I loved, so. So my top pick of the year would have to be Ex Machina. And I can say that for sure because I just rewatched it a week ago and it totally holds up. It was a movie unlike any movie I've ever seen before. And the movies that tend to make me excited are ones that make me think about movies and filmmaking differently. Which sounds really pretentious, but it's true. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's, it's one of those movies that's hard to talk about without giving things away. So I would just say go and watch it. I went in pretty blind. The only thing I knew about it was that it had robots. And that was enough for me. And it ended up being great. So go in with really high expectations because it's gonna meet them. All right guys, so my favorite uh, movie of 2015, I usually judge this based on what brings me the most joy, not necessarily was technically the best good. For me, it was this little movie by Noah Baumbach called Mistress America. Whenever he uh, produces uh, indie films with little known actors, they end up being very relatable for me. It, takes a character th all the way through her college writing career um, and she ends up following a new friend of hers that almost becomes her sister. Fantastic little movie, don't wanna spoil it, twists and turns. And it's nice to see little tiny independent films actually getting made in this era of Star Wars, which, Star Wars! My pick for best movie of 2015, and, and I like to judge my favorite things based on how often I go back to them. It's the same with like my favorite album of the year, my favorite movie of the year, my favorite TV shows of the year. It's like how re-watchable or re-consumable is it? And for me, it's Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Because it came out on iTunes not too terribly long ago and I've watched it like a dozen times just in the past couple of weeks. It's honestly a little ridiculous. It is structurally really sound, really simple, really clean, which is, a, a feat when you consider that it's a Mission Impossible movie. It's funny, the tone uh, of it is is humorous and heightened because it's a Mission Impossible movie, but there are also stakes that you can really feel. So it, it hit a sweet spot that is very, very hard to hit. Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, favorite movie of 2015. All right guys, those were just some of our picks for the best movies of 2015. Let us know what you think about it. What was your favorite movie of 2015? What was your favorite moment in any movie? How about that? The movie doesn't have to be your favorite movie of 2015, but maybe it had your favorite movie moment in it. Huh? Let us know about that in the comments down below. Click like, subscribe, and we will see you next time on Cinefix Now.